a state-of-the-art marvel, soaring above tracks without physical contact, propelled by electromagnetic forces, redefining speed and efficiency in transportation. Its sleek form and whispering speed embody a futuristic fusion of elegance and technology. But what exactly is the Transrapid? The term Transrapid originated from the fusion of transport and rapid, underscoring the system's focus on high-speed transportation. Prototyping for the Transrapid system commenced in 1969, leading to the establishment of a testing facility in Emsland, Germany, by 1987. In 1988, comprehensive plans were laid out to construct maglev tracks throughout Germany, commencing with the Hamburg-Hanover route. Collaborating with esteemed universities, Deutsche Bundesbahn declared the system technically prepared for practical implementation in 1991. The year 2002 witnessed the inaugural commercial deployment of the Transrapid system via the Shanghai Maglev train, connecting Shanghai's Swift Transit network to the Shanghai Pudong International Airport, spanning approximately 30.5 kilometers. Nevertheless, the Transrapid system had not yet been embraced for long-distance intercity routes. During the time between 1969 and 2007, a total of nine Transrapid prototypes were developed. Through the application of robust electromagnets, Transrapid's maglev technology facilitated the train's elevation above the tracks, diminishing friction and enabling the train to achieve exceedingly high velocities, ultimately surpassing 500 km per hour in certain instances. The magnets, upon receiving an electric current, generated a magnetic field, inducing the train to rise and float above the guiding surface, sustaining a separation of approximately 10 mm. The core of the Transrapid system employed a linear motor, a variant of an electric motor that engenders linear movement, as opposed to the rotational motion characteristic of conventional electric motors. The stator, constituting the stationary element, was situated along the guideway, while the rotor, representing the mobile part, was affixed to the train itself. Upon energizing the stator with electric current, a mobile magnetic field materialized, interacting with the train's magnets and propelling or pulling it along the guiding path. This mechanism facilitated the attainment of high speeds accompanied by seamless acceleration and deceleration. Sadly, the Transrapid train didn't find much success in Europe, including Germany. The reason was that creating the Transrapid tracks and stations cost a lot of money. This was mostly because the special maglev technology needed special pathways and very smart control systems. Because it was so expensive, it was tough to get money to start new Transrapid projects. Also, other fast trains like the German ICE and the French TGV were already there, and they made it hard for people to choose the Transrapid. These were just as fast and good, and they cost less to build and take care of. On September 22, 2006, a Transrapid train crashed into a maintenance vehicle, killing 23 people. This accident marked the end for the Transrapid. After developing the Transrapid 9 between 2006 and 2007, the project came to an end. The test track was closed, further development stopped, and the idea of a European maglev was shelved.